All right, everybody, it's currently 119, and ever since my weigh-in, I just, uh, I ate, and I believe I've been working in the shop, uh, cleaning up, stuff like that, organizing stuff, and then, uh, I've been working on this design for a little bit, and went ahead and made my smoothie, and I got my chicken cooking, so that's what I'm doing now, I'm probably gonna do some more work, finish up this, got some stuff to do online as well, and then I'll check back in with y'all when I hit the gym later. All right, what's going on everybody? I'm here, it is Wednesday the 30th of March, so I'm about to hit my full body workout B, uh, really just the second one of the week. I didn't record A, another time I'll get that to y'all later. Uh, I'm switching to a full body routine for about a month or so, just to switch it up. Uh, just to up the frequency a little bit, but uh, let me get in that here. Two hours later. Notice the form. Notice, notice the control. Notice the muscle gains. I always want to control that negative. That's when you're ripping the muscle more. Hashtag equals more gains. Purpose in the bag. All right, what my new split is, is I'm training every uh, three to four days. One, like say I work out Monday, I should work out on the third day. And after that workout, work on the fourth day. But like uh, last, I was supposed to work out yesterday, but I feel my body needed an extra day to recover. So I took an extra day. Um, but what I'm doing, three sets of flat, one set of incline. Uh, then I'm going into three sets of dumbbell rows, a single arm, and then I'm going to move into either a uh, cable row, T-bar row, barbell row, just chest supported row. I don't know which one I want to do yet. I'll, I might do barbell and see how that feels, and then every workout I'll switch it up to see which one I like the best. Um, and then, so that's chest, back. I think I may get into some squats after that. And I alternate squats and deadlifts between every workout. Um, I know I'm gonna do some uh, side lateral raises, calf raises, some rear delt pulls, and probably some handstands at the end. I think that's gonna be it. I think that's it. All right, set two went up. Easy as a piece of cake. Piece of Oreo Dream Chocolate Extreme Cake. Just had that. Hey, my mouth started to water just saying that. I had that the other day at the Cheesecake Factory. It's freaking delicious. Anyway, I'm doing 140 uh, for flat three sets. Um, I'm going to stay at that weight until I hit it for three sets of 10, which I think I'm about to do. And then next week, I'll try to hit it for. Well, I'm not 100% sure what I've decided to do yet. I'm either going to bump it up to. Uh, 145 or try to hit it for sets of three sets of 11 and then three sets of 12 which is what I'm probably going to do and then once I hit it 140 for three sets of 12 I'll up the weight by five pounds try to do it for sets of 10 if I can do that in the sets of 11 if I can do that in the sets of 12 and then go up to 150 and just keep doing that over and over and over so I plateau or I just feel like switching it up so how do we get in the set three don't be uh, playing around your rest times. You need to be timing yourself. Yep, I'm already over here talking. All right, let me get into it. These last sets are the ones that really count. I don't know if y'all picked up on how quiet it is when I work out, but I actually don't like to listen to music. I will every now and then, but uh, give that a try if you're always listening to music. Uh, for me, it just 
you know, I put all my focus on the muscles I'm working. So give that a try. See if you like it. You know, if your gym always plays music, just wear headphones and don't play music. I swear I could have got 10, but it would have been a grinder. I'm here by myself. I don't want to get trapped. And lately, I've been, uh, I mean, kind of want to experiment with going a rep or two short of failure. Because, when, you know, when you're, when you're really trying to grind those out, that's where your form breaks down. When you have bad form, that's where you get injured. And when you get injured, it sets you back a while. So. I ain't trying to have any setbacks. That's the thing about, uh, you know, the people who are really the furthest in the fitness, people who uh, don't get injured that much. So, got those three sets, uh, hopping into some incline. You'll notice, I actually switch it up sometimes, it depends what I want to, like you'll see, I'm only in the fourth hole, sometimes we go third hole. So if you look, so if you look at that incline, it's not near as much as say, that one there is a regular 45 degrees, that's in most gyms, you can see the difference here, see. So much of a difference, that one's 45, this one's like 30 maybe, but it takes a lot of your, uh, Takes a lot of the front delts side of it and where you can actually use your upper chest more, so I recommend y'all do that. Uh, for me and for a lot of other people I've seen, it helps them hit your upper helps you hit your upper chest more. So give that a try. Alright, now I'm getting in some uh, dumbbell rows. I normally do these single arm, but I did them uh, two arm at the same time and they both felt pretty good, so I'm going to stick with these tonight. My second set, uh, working with 55s. All right, everybody, I decided to do the uh, chest-supported rows here. I hadn't done these in probably over a year or so, but I remember last time I'd done them, I, I couldn't do many with 45, but I I went to 15 because it was actually way too light. I didn't know. Uh, so next workout, you know, I had on some more weight, and I could have went more than 15. I just stopped at 15. Um, see, I go a little bit wider grip here. I'm actually now noticing that I'm a little bit wider on the left after seeing the footage here. But that's just because, that's just to switch it up. I don't do any uh, wide grip rowing, so I thought I'd throw that in there. Alright, now I'm moving on to some side laterals with dumbbells. I'm doing it on the uh, 45 degree incline. Alright there. Uh, did one set of 10 for 20. Now we'll do a set of 15s. And that'll be it for side delts, isolated, and I'm going to come back and do some handstands at the end. Alright, a little tip here. You see I do my side delts on the uh, 45 degree, in degree incline here. And the reason why is when I do them standard, and do pinkies down or thumbs down and all, I get a little, I feel a little, I feel a little impingement or something in my right uh, shoulder. So, you know, I'm not going to keep doing that. It's definitely going to mess it up, but... If you get on the incline, do thumbs up, you will target your uh, side delt as well. And, you know, just keep your scapula retracted. And, you know, I'm free. There's uh, no popping or anything with this way. So if standing gives you trouble, try these. Maybe they'll work for you too.
All right, getting into some squats. So my second set, I'm gonna do three sets. Just started back, this is my first workout back doing uh, barbell back squats, so doing high bar. I actually had some uh, low back condition for a while, so I didn't have been squatting, so I'm starting back really light, build my way back up. And I think the reason it was hurting it was because I was doing a low bar squat. So I'm going back to high bar, and it feels a lot more comfortable to me. Um, Y'all might be wondering why I wear the hood the whole time. That's just to uh, stay warm, stay hot. I like sweating. Uh, have my body temperature up really high when I work out. I normally don't even cut on fans. Um, or I don't ever really, actually. Um, my boy's got the fan on. But uh, just doing some squats. Keeping the form real good. Just uh, feeling it, pumping them out. It's like I wanted to say something else. I don't know. So we'll get into a set. Again, even on squats, you want to control the negative a little bit. Like I said, it's going to tear the muscles more. The more they tear, the more they're going to have to repair and grow. And you'll see how I'm not locking out all the way, too. Uh, that's just to keep the stress off the joint. That lasts a little bit. I mean, you're not really doing anything there, so you don't want to lock out completely. I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm putting in some work. Feels so good. Anyway, I'm just do my first set of right face pulls. I'll record the next set for y'all. Then it's on to some some calves. Try to grow these calves. They actually should be a little bit bigger, but I got Achilles tendonitis at one point. On this one, so I didn't train for a while, but I'm trying to bring him back up. Time to get into some road face pulls. All right, on rope face pulls, I always go 15 reps. This is my second set. I think I'm either doing 90 or 100 pounds, and I actually have to lean back like this so the weight doesn't pull me forward, and actually does pull me forward in one of these reps. Uh, if I don't, then I'm just, I mean, the weight moves me, but I always uh, go slow on the negative of these, and I always like to hold these for a second at the back and really squeeze, engage those uh, rear delts. Alright, time for two sets of calf raises, body weight going uh, 25 reps each as we go and start burning at like 18 but you gotta push time for a sexy shot <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag calves on fire. About to catch a cramp trying to flex. Alright, now on to the really fun part handstands. Alright, how I do my handstands now since I'm doing these full body days. I um do three sets of ten attempts. So do ten attempts. Uh, rest a minute and a half, do 10 attempts, rest a minute and a half, 
two ten attempts. I'm just doing three sets instead of having a whole handstand day by myself. So time to get into it. I'm gonna do one more set of rope face pulls and that's it. But you can see handstands coming along. My front delts are roasted. It hurts just to hold my phone up. But you know, each one I'm doing, I'm holding for a little longer. I'm getting the groove of it, getting the feel of it. All in time. This fitness thing, health thing, strength, although it takes time. So I'm gonna get one more of those. That's it. Appreciate everybody watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Go out there and give this uh, workout a try, make some gains full body gains. If you're natural, science actually says it's better to train full body and hit your muscles, you know, like every two or three days or something like that. So uh, I'm just switching it up for a little bit, like I said, a month or so. But it's going to be there, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be posting a physique update probably tomorrow morning. So uh, next time, no, never mind. Never mind. I was talking about my haircut, but I'm getting one of those tomorrow, which I need. Anyway, peace everybody. Hope you have a good day. I'm gonna make y'all some gains. You, I want you to make some gains. I want you to make some gains. And you over there, yeah, you right there. Talking to you, right there eating. Talking to you, yeah. Stop looking at your phone. Pay attention, go make some gains. All right, later everybody. All right guys, just got done with that session. Or ladies, I'm gonna leave y'all out. I hope y'all got some ladies watching. But anyway, you know I gotta have my little talk. But man, I feel so freaking good. 
again, everybody, please go work out. I don't care if you're running, jump roping, just go play basketball, go jog, go swim, go do parkour, go do crossfit, go do bodybuilding, go power lift, go do anything. I'm telling you, it'll change your life. You'll never regret. You'll never regret starting doing it, I'm telling you. But I feel amazing right now. It just puts you in such a great mood. I'm like, just, I don't know, right? Just like right now, after this workout, I'm just realizing how blessed I am. Like out of nowhere, I just feel good, and then good thoughts come. You just, I don't know, sometimes you have getting, because when you work out, it releases endorphins in your brain, makes you feel good. And, uh, you know, obviously you have better days than other, and this one was a really good workout. I really enjoyed it. I uh, feel really good, but just be thankful for what you have. Uh, you know, just realize how blessed you are for the things that you do have. Just having your sight is so amazing. Wake up one morning and keep your eyes closed 10 minutes and try to function. Imagine how horrible that'd be. Or imagine waking up and can, can't hear anybody in your family, none of your loved ones, none of your friends, can't hear anybody's voice. Imagine how horrible that'd be. Or imagine where you couldn't talk, had some kind of, I don't know what you call it, or I'm, I can't think of a thing, but you know people can't talk right. It's horrible. I mean, just having ears of, and being able to enjoy music, something as, you know, as great as music, or just be able to watch movies or be able to admire nature and this and that. You know, just instead of focusing on what you don't have, focus on what you do have. That don't mean be complacent, but realize how blessed you are just for the small things that you can walk, that you can work out. That's the thing. Pretty much everybody watching you probably can exercise, but you're not. Like You have a body. Like There's people who are born crippled and stuff. They... You know, there's no talent what they'd give up to have a functioning body. And 98% of people, 99% of people don't even use their body, really. Exercise it. You know, I said it again. I said it once, I'll say it again. It's like, if you have only given one car, say some people get a Lamborghini, some people get a Honda. Just like in life, some people have better bodies than others from the get-go, have better genetics, are taller, or naturally more skinny, or... And run faster this and that but no matter what you're given in life you gotta work with it right you gotta you gotta just like poker you gotta play with the hand you're dealt and the thing is no matter what hand you're dealt you can always win because in poker it ain't always the guy with the best hand that wins always remember that so it don't matter how stupid short ugly whatever you think you are just always remember that always remember that not the person with the best hand that always wins. It's how you it's how you it's how you use the cards that you were dealt. It's how you use what you were given in this life. Um, but that's about to wrap I'm about to wrap it up. Just you know, always try to grow in life. What I try to do try to try to grow uh, physically each day, even by one percent. Just you wanna you don't wanna ever go backwards. Always try to progress. Do something mentally to progress, physically, spiritually. I don't know if I just said physically, but you know, meditate. And then, like for me, I enjoy drawing. I feel like that's something that I don't know. It just it's really good for me to do. Like, and somebody else might be wood carving or painting or making music. You know, you gotta have these little things, and I feel like it's a good way to like it's a good expression or something. It helps release something in you. So that's good, and you know it's good to meditate for your brain. That can also help with spirituality, spirit like connecting with that, and you know exercising and physical, you know, and then try to increase a little bit financially each day, you know, try to be a little better person each day, do a little act of kindness here and there, just things like that, guys, just uh, and girls, and ladies and women and boys, and everybody watching, your dog, your dog watching in the background, a little sentient being. <laughs> Anyway, I'm kind of rambling, but I'm in a great mood. I feel great. It's had a great workout. Uh, uh, I'm glad these positive uh, messages and thoughts aren't going to waste because, you know, all it takes, you know, hopefully one person can see this video and it'll change their life. 
that's all it takes is you know a lot of times you see something and I can't really snap with this oil a little bit but you know you see something hold on <laughs> and then something snaps like you just hear one somebody just says one quote it could be something you've heard before this word a little different and like it really hits you for some reason something really resonates with you and you really think about it and you're like you know yeah like holy crap like I yeah I, I you know whatever blah 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 this I like I, yeah this is I really need to change like you know what from now on I'm gonna do this and then you actually make the change and then you're a better person because of it. you feel better you know if you're in a good mood you feel better you're gonna be nice with other people you're just making the world a better place so hopefully I can inspire somebody or change somebody in a good way like I said inspire you to be better and then hopefully you can inspire somebody else it's a trickle down effect so that's I mean slow that's how you can one person can change the world in that in that idea you know I changed somebody's life to say I touch four people with my message or anything my words and then they get inspired and each of those four people inspire four other people and it keeps going so it's gonna be it I know I'm probably rambling I don't want to make the video too long but I hope y'all enjoyed it again like I said go out there be great or don't be great if you don't want to be great if you don't want to amount to anything really in life or you just want to live a mediocre life I guess that's fine too not everybody wants to be great I reckon but be true with yourself know what you want and like I said if you really don't want to be that rich or great or I guess you know just accept that and be with it but I don't know because then you might say I don't really want to exercise but I guess maybe it ain't for everybody but I urge everybody just to you know you use your body exercise use your mind I'm kind of carrying on I know I ramble off topic it's easy to do that especially when I'm just sitting here talking to myself me and my thoughts just sitting out here in the night but uh be great that's what I'm gonna listen leave y'all that be great it's the message just be great be happy be great and be happy <laughs> alright that's it cause I can stretch this song for a long time I'm just gonna go ahead and end it cause if I don't I'm gonna keep going <laughs> alright everybody hope y'all enjoyed it stay tuned for more uh like it if you like it like it if you don't like it uh like the video if you like the video if you don't like the video like the video and uh, I'm trying to think of another one. I don't know, but if you dislike the video, like the video. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of anymore. All right, that's it, everybody. Peace. Coming at you, bruh. Alright, I'm going for real this time. Don't forget to like my stuff. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. <laughs> oh, Chris Jones, little impersonation. There's a beast. Anyway.